One of the new retopple tools that's been added to 3D Coats as a build 4.8.38 is the new bridge tool. I first want to draw a distinction between it and the R-Fill tool, which will allow the user to fill in openings on a single mesh. And up until this point, this is the tool I would use because I can bridge two edges and then use the R-Fill tool to fill the rest. But this streamlines the process and gives us more options. So the bridge tool lets us bridge, as you might imagine, two different meshes rather than an opening in a single mesh. So let's go to the select tool in edges mode. And I'll scroll down to the bottom of the selected section and choose bridge. You can always hit the space bar to bring the tool panel to your cursor. I can choose bridge here. It's telling me I don't have any edges selected. So that's the first thing we need to do. I can select these two edges. Then click bridge. Number of divisions. I can adjust the twist, but that really comes into play when you have more than one edge on each side selected. Let's go ahead and click cancel. Escape. And I will shift click to select entire loops. I'll do that here, and 3D Coat always stops at a UV seam, so let's shift click here. Now we have completed our loop. I'll click on bridge. We can see there's quite a twist there, so we need to adjust that. Again, we can adjust the number of divisions. I think three will be fine. Then we have this option here for adjusting the angle of the mesh in between the bridge. So we can adjust the concavity and then reverse it if we need. And you have a similar option for sinusoid and Bezier spline. In this case, I'll just choose linear. and then hit OK. And that's a quick look at using the bridge tool in 3D Coats Retopo Workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.